Adding pages in Typo3 is incredibly easy to do and there's a couple of ways to do it. To begin with, we're gonna be looking at the page tree. And the first way to add a page is to use this icon that's here at the top. If you click that, it's gonna bring up this small page icon and when you hover over it, it brings up this directional arrow. You can drag this, click and drag, and place the page where you want it to appear. In this instance, I've put it beneath the services and case studies page. And you can see it's immediately prompting me to give it a name. I'll just call it new page for this example. And then I click enter and that is the page created. Now you can see by default, it's got this red icon on it, which means the page is hidden. So we can right click and click enable. And now that page is live. If we jump over to the front end of the website, we're using the Liquid Light site in this example, and click Refresh. And you can see our new page is immediately in the navigation. Now, the way in which the navigation and the page tree works will be different from site to site, so that will depend on that configuration. So if you've any doubt about where you need to put pages, then do check in with us and we'll be happy to let you know. But generally we have this menu header and menu footer and they are the navigations. And then within them, there's different structures depending on the site. Once we've created a page, it's really easy to move. We can simply click and drag and you can see as I hover, it's coming up with various different icons so I can put it into a different page or I can just simply move it. And once you move that, you don't need to save it. If you go back to the front end now, you'll see that it's moved. If while you're populating the page, you probably don't want it to be on the live website, so you can just right click and disable the page. So the page still exists, but it won't appear on the live website. So that's the first way of adding a page, as well as a bit of information about moving pages and enabling them. I'll show you now quickly how to delete a page. So you choose the page that you wanna delete, you right click and then just choose delete. It's gonna ask you if you're sure, and we'll just click delete. And now that page is deleted. Do bear in mind that certain pages, like this services page, for example, has got child pages underneath. And quite often you'll find that you won't be able to delete a page if it has pages within it. You'll need to delete the pages within it before you can delete the top level page. This is a kind of a safety mechanism to ensure that you don't accidentally delete content. So the second way that you can add a page is just as simple as the first and is really just a preference as to your workflow. You can choose whereabouts you'd like to place the page. So maybe I wanna put a page after this blog page and before this contact page. If I right click on the blog, I can then say new and it will ask me to name the page. And then I can save and close and it's put my new page there and it's immediately live. So then again, if I wanted to, I could disable the page until it's ready to be published. So that's adding pages, moving pages and deleting pages. Thanks for watching.